Welcome back to the Dividend Uncle channel, where we navigate the world of real estate investment trusts. In this episode, we're taking a close look at the recent performance of hospitality REITs, specifically the disparity in price actions for CDL Hospitality Trust, Capital and Asket Trust, and Far East Hospitality Trust. Why did the prices of two REITs slump by up to 12% but the other REITs soared by almost 7%? Now, as many of you know, the hospitality REIT sector has been experiencing a resurgence in interest lately, and for good reason. Worldwide tourism is on the rebound as people around the globe embark on what they call revenge traveling. It's almost like making up for lost time after those long lockdowns during the pandemic. And, there's some exciting news coming from China, which has relaxed its COVID measures, allowing its citizens to travel overseas. This is expected to give a significant boost to the global tourism recovery. CDL Hospitality Trust Now, let's delve deeper into CDL Hospitality Trust's recent performance, which has witnessed a minus 11.8% decline in its share price over the last three months. One of the primary reasons for this downturn is growing apprehension about higher interest rates impacting the trust's expenses. What sets CDL Hospitality Trust apart is its strategic approach to interest rate risk. Maintaining a relatively low proportion of debt on fixed rates, just 48%, this right exhibits the lowest hedging level among Singapore REITs. This approach reflects the management's preference for avoiding potentially expensive interest rate hedging practices, a stance that comes with its unique set of risks. Analysts have weighed in on this concern, with some noting that the decline in CDL Hospitality Trust shares was part of a broader sell-off in the hospitality sector due to these interest rate concerns. However, they've also pointed out that the market appears to have already priced this risk in, given the trust's estimated 30% discount to book value. This discount indicates that the market may be undervaluing CDL Hospitality Trust, presenting an opportunity for investors. Moreover, CDL Hospitality Trust is well positioned to benefit from the ongoing tourism recovery. This stems from its high-quality portfolio of upscale hotels, particularly in Singapore, where it operates in a prime market that's crucial to the region's tourism industry. Another factor that might have played a role in the recent price dip could be CDL Hospitality Trust's 1HFY23 results, which missed some analysts' estimates. However, it's important to note that the trust expects a more robust performance in 2HFY23. Many of the factors that impacted the first half, such as hotel renovations and the progressive removal of room nights, are now easing. Furthermore, CDL Hospitality Trust's management holds an optimistic view on future room demand. The trust is already seeing a steady stream of bookings for conference facilities and anticipates rate hikes post-refurbishment projects. Therefore, while the recent performance might appear lackluster, the trust's management has a clear strategy for a stronger future. Capital and Asket Trust Now, let's shift our focus to Capital and Asket Trust, which has encountered a minus 9.3% decline in its share price. This performance dip is primarily attributed to concerns surrounding its proposed acquisitions of new properties, and a less than enthusiastic response to its equity fundraising efforts. Recall that the share price promptly dropped below the preferential offering price of $1.025, resulting in most people allowing their rights to lapse. In regard to these concerns, an article reports that Capital and Asket Trust's Memorandum of Understanding to Acquire Three Lodging Assets in the UK, Ireland, and Indonesia are expected to be accretive to the trust distribution per unit, DPU. But some analysts have trimmed their forecasts due to depreciating foreign currencies against the Singapore dollar. This highlights the potential currency risk associated with international acquisitions. Additionally, analysts are keeping a close eye on Capital and Asket Trust's performance, especially in comparison to its peers. It's worth noting that the trust is actively conducting asset enhancement initiatives for some of its properties. This is anticipated to have a positive impact on the trust in the future. Furthermore, Capital and Asket Trust's willingness to invest in these initiatives shows a commitment to maintaining and improving the quality of its portfolio. Far East Hospitality Trust As we've discussed CDL Hospitality Trust and Capital and Asket Trust's recent performance, it's essential to highlight Far East Hospitality Trust as an illustration of what we might expect from hospitality REITs given the current positive outlook in the tourism sector. Far East Hospitality Trust has surged with a remarkable plus 6.7% performance over the past three months, in contrast to the other two REITs, showcasing a trajectory more in line with the optimistic sentiments surrounding tourism's resurgence. 
analysts have been particularly pleased with Far East Hospitality Trust's strong year-on-year growth, marking healthy results for 1HFY 2023, which ended in June. The trust accomplished a notable 26.9% growth in gross revenue, with a distribution per stapled security, DPS, of 1.92 cents, signifying an impressive 24.7% improvement year-on-year. A closer look at the 2QFY 2024 revenue reveals a staggering 34.1% year-on-year growth to $26.9 million. This growth was primarily propelled by the hotel segment, which saw a remarkable rise of 41.2% year-on-year or $5.9 million. These impressive results have led analysts to maintain their ad or buy calls, respectively. The trust stable balance sheet is another positive factor, with 2QFY 2023 gearing, average cost of debt, and interest rate coverage all holding steady quarter-on-quarter. In summary, Far East Hospitality Trust's performance serves as a beacon of optimism in the realm of hospitality REITs, embodying the positive outlook on tourism. Its ability to recover and even surpass pre-pandemic levels demonstrates the resilience of well-managed REITs in a recovering sector. In conclusion, the recent performance of hospitality REITs has been a mixed bag, reflecting the intricate dance between optimism and caution in today's ever-evolving economic landscape. Despite the optimism, there are underlying risks that could cast a shadow on this recovery. The threat of a global recession looms, and the trajectory of interest rates remains uncertain. In particular, higher interest rates sustained over a more extended period could spell trouble for REITs with substantial debt holdings, such as CDL Hospitality Trust. Therefore, While the tourism sector's resurgence paints a hopeful picture for hospitality REITs, investors should exercise prudence. Diversification, a strong balance sheet, and a clear strategy for coping with interest rate fluctuations will be key for these trusts as they navigate the road ahead. In this ever-changing landscape, astute investors will keep a close eye on both the promising opportunities and the lurking risks, ensuring they are well prepared for any twists and turns that may come their way. Until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more financial wisdom and insights on the Dividend Uncle channel.